Hey guys, Vigo Man here and welcome back to Thornsbury once again. Today we are back building some more here. We're gonna continue where we left off uh, last week where we uh, built this house right here which looks pretty beautiful. You guys seem to like it. Uh, I've done some small minor changes from you guys' suggestions. Some of you said to me, which I totally agree on, that windows in the first floor of a building in the desert is not a really good idea because you want to keep the warmth or the sun and stuff like that outside and keep the heat away from the internal side of the building so having windows here would make all this warm sand and the heat from this just kind of give it a nice pass into the building so I, I removed some of those just to um, to make it I guess less warm <laughs> more cool inside uh, so that is yeah good suggestion from you guys thank you so much um, so that it kind of makes this facade a little bit more unique kind of I, I kind of like it more without the windows to be honest. I think it's um, it looking pretty cool. I've also added a small building here in the back and some flowers and things. Just been building a little bit off camera. Uh, just to uh, make the progress of building this town a little bit faster. Because yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on in the channel right now. So we want to make sure that we don't waste too much time on stuff. So let's just get cracking here. Uh, honestly, I can't remember if we decided what to do in here. I don't think we did, I just think we uh, made a store, yeah, we want to build some kind of store here and my idea is, uh, I asked you guys on my discord what we should have and, and I think we're gonna make uh, a shop for stolen goods, um, so a place where people, or this guy has been like out raiding and people have been stealing stuff and he's been stealing stuff and they're selling it here again, just looking for a, a fitting floor block um, let's see how this one works honestly that's pretty cool um, that's not too bad so that is what we're doing here we're gonna make um, a store that is selling stolen goods and such uh, so it's gonna be pretty unique which allows us to just kind of place in a lot of different blocks uh, because everything can be sold here, it's not like just an apothecary uh, or just food, just meat, you know? Uh, it allows us to, to improvise a little bit and that, that is something I really like. Uh, let's just get the gate in here as well. So yeah, that's... Um, it should work, it should do the thing. Actually, what I want to do here is move those all the way down. Okay, it's a little bit more structure and I think that looks pretty cool. Alright, uh, inside here we have the stone floor or stone ceiling, I guess it really depends on uh, if you're in the basement or first floor. Uh, so we're just gonna fill that in like that, which makes it even darker in here. And that means we gotta make some kind of vaulted ceiling in here. Uh, but that is always a lot of fun. Um, we gotta figure out what kind of blocks we should use. What have I? I've used this here. Um, I might want to try to use a different one. Maybe try... Just to get a little bit of contrast here. I think that should be good. So we're gonna bring that up like that and then... Yeah. Uh, I, I think we want to have it like separated like this. So there's... Um, two vaulted ceilings. I don't know if that's a plural for that. Um, two volts I don't know man so basically we're gonna have this one going like that and this here and connect those up and then I guess we have to figure out a way to do this good here um, so for these ones I guess only stairs like that but here we can have since these are five blocks wide and these are only three we gotta kind of make them different we do that kind of works as the arch for uh, supporting this so we can do that um, yeah like that that should be pretty good I think so uh, and then we gotta figure out how to um, to do the vault here so if we do Something like that. Um, I guess that works. So 
it's not too complicated. There's just a simple vaulted ceiling here. Um, I think it was stairs there, and then slab, 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 and then the trapdoor on top. And that looks pretty good, yeah. It's super dark in here though. Uh, let's light it up like that. Yeah, that, that should be pretty good. Uh, so basically, what, what I imagine um, is that we just, yeah, just bam a lot of stuff in here. Um, almost like an antique shop in a way, you know, where you can buy used stuff, uh, but all this stuff here will be stolen. So, uh, I think we got to pick out the colorful block. I always pick the orange one. I don't know why, but I do have a kind of weakness for orange. I love how it looks. So I think we're going to fill up, like, the sides here just with, like, shelves like this. I use the, the colorful wool just to plant stuff. Uh, you would know that if you're in my live streams. Um, and then I guess let's mix it up a little bit. This like that, uh, some kind of desk, you know. The shelves there. Um, and then we have the desk here, and I think we might even want to like go out like that a little bit. Maybe even a little bit further like that, just to kind of block it off. Uh, I figure when you're doing small interiors like this, breaking up the point of view or the view line really helps with making it uh, interesting. So I guess what we're going to do first is replace this here with the desk. Um, and we're going to make it look like poor and stuff, you know. Pick up some stuff that we can use for this. Um, yeah, we can use all of that. And let's just make this one here, just to kind of set the standard here. Um, we can fill in the back here as well, if we want to. So that allows for some more uh, different kind of blocks, I guess. Um, something like that, you know. Uh, and then we can put stuff on top of here. Like an amphora, I actually won't keep that. Um, like that, we can... Everything basically wheels like that. Um, we can have knives hanging here from the paintings. It's something like that, just super random. Um, maybe something like that. Yeah, I think that should work. Um, and then we gotta do something like that. And then I wanna wanna have like this thing then have all right we gotta place them first like that so we have this overhang here which allows us to hang stuff from here and uh, we can hang clothes I guess oh that's ugly <laughs> I guess we can just keep one of them like that um, we can have a chest we keep that there uh, and then we can have like some tools like that. Basically, my idea is just to yeah add as lot of you different kind of stuff as possible in here. Do something like that. Yeah, that should work. Uh, wait, can I? No, I cannot continue that one. All right. Um, maybe we'll have some barrels here, you know, I think we're gonna Oops. Um, do it this way, where we use the repel tool here, and then we can place it like that, wow, that's dark, okay, that helped, um, and then we can hang some stuff on the wall here, so you know we can have something like this. We can also have more wheels, like that, um, paintings with stuff on, I guess let's move the wheel over there, and then have something like that, that should do the job, it's pretty dark in here still, we gotta figure out a nice way to, to light everything up. Um, yeah, you can have a lot of just stuff on the ground as well, there's no problem. Um, let's mix in some of the cupboards in here as well. 
Sun mixed it up. And do that all the way, like this. Yeah. Um, we can continue maybe like this one. Up, like that. Some kind of uh, clothing that's been stolen. And I also want to have like swords and such. Um, so maybe we'll keep this here more or less open for things just laying on there. Maybe some swords. We can also have like sword rack like that. That's pretty cool. Um, maybe some books. I don't know. Everything can be, be sold here. So we just got to fill it up with different stuff. And we got it. It's really tricky getting the lighting in here, right? Uh, but if we... Is this a full block? Yes, perfect. Right, so we can keep some of those in here. Like that. And then we can remove some of these. Okay, perfect. Um, what else? We can have some in forest just staying, laying around like that. Maybe, uh, yeah, something like that. Might wanna some more stuff on top of that. I don't know, maybe jars. That doesn't work. Um, some of these goblets could fit. Yes, something like that. Perfect. Um, we can have some jars like that. We can also have like tools, you know. Um, Hackets? Something like that, I guess. Um, then spice like that. And then some normal shells on top of that. Yeah, good work. Um, chests and stuff, of course. A lot of stuff here. Um, and then we just gotta finish this thing right here. Just gotta do something like that. There's one too many of the window things. Uh, I don't like to have too many of the window things because they look kind of cool alone, but I only have too many of them. It can't get messy. Um, let's get some shelves in here. Actually, what we might also have is like a wine rack, stolen wine and stuff. You can have something like that here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess we also can move stuff in here like we did here. Because what? It, no, we cannot. Um, but we can do that here. That should be good. Yeah. Just to create some more depth. Uh, which I do like. So we got something like that. Um, anything else? Um, stolen goods. Yeah. Scales. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. That could work. Um, I also want to have one armor sign here. Just for the looks of it. I'm not sure if like. It's super realistic that you will be able to steal. Uh, some armor from people. But. You know, these are thieves, they know what they're doing. So, uh, let's get an armor stand up and then find some armor. It's just gonna be normal iron armor, I think. We can do something like that, and then this one can stand here. Something like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool, guys. I like this. Um, let's... Some more chests. Ah, that's too messy. Um, I should be good now, I think. We have some more of these. Maybe one of these. Yeah. And then what I want to have is just like a small lantern like that. And then maybe just some coins laying on here. Yeah. And since it's, this is like in the desert here, a lot of carpets is needed. Um, I don't know why, but it just looks good. In my opinion, at least. So, uh, let's squeeze in some of that in here. Just makes it look a lot more cozy as well. So, why not? Um, 
something like that. So that is kind of how I would have done it myself. It's just super, yeah, building it as messy as possible, I think. Uh, just a lot of different kind of things to keep your eye on, to keep it interesting, and try not to be too much repetitive as like a small tip here of how I would have done it. So that turned out pretty cool, guys. I'm very happy with that. Um, then I guess it's only the top floor left. Uh, we've been recording for almost 20 minutes, if I'm right, but I think we should be able to finish off this here uh, real quick. So let's get in here. Let's get a door. Um, we'll use the gate here. Um, here, I think what I'm gonna do just straight ahead uh, is maybe to remove that for this one and then something like that. Um, I don't know. Something like that, just open it up or just remove it completely and then we could actually do this instead. That's cool. Can I remove? Yes, I can remove those. That's perfect. That means I could remove that one. Yes, perfect. Um, Alright, so let's um, start with the kitchen because why not? The kitchen is important. So I think and uh, when we just get straight in here, we're gonna have a kitchen um, which needs some kind of area to heat up. Uh, I don't think... I just gotta check something here because the building I've been working on without you guys has an exit here, so we don't want to interrupt that in a way. But if we manage to... Yeah, we can have the fireplace go up here. Or the oven, I guess. And then have the chimney come up like that that should be good um, then we just need this here something like that yeah that should be good so that we can have um, this right here I guess let's make it like that and then connect it to the chimney with like these iron pipes here, something like that. And there's some cupboards here, maybe some here as well. And then some simple food and stuff. Whoops. <laughs> uh, maybe I should keep like something in it like that and then I like just keeping it like a plate on some of these that is something I try to do is to fill up pretty much every block of the kitchen uh, because um, yeah it allows for some extra details even though it's kind of messy I figure when you're building Minecraft like this uh, keeping it messy is not a bad idea um, okay, it's gonna be super tight here because we gotta have um, the sleeping quarters in here as well. I think we're gonna divide the room with this divider here. Like that. Um, then have like the eating thing here. Or <laughs> the table, I guess. Um, some Something on it. Maybe switch those around. Yeah, good. Uh, and then we have some paintings of kitchen tools. That is always good looking. Uh, actually, move that down, I think. And then we can bring this one across as some kind of. This is like a small shelf. We can do the same here. That's not too bad. And then in here, we just gotta squeeze in some sleeping quarters. And that is basically all. Uh, I think for this, yeah, these people here, they're pretty poor, I guess. Um, they're selling stolen goods. Uh, so I think they're just gonna have like a carpet to sleep on. Like that. Um, just straight on uh, the ground like that. Um, then maybe a small table with like a lamp on. Like that. That should work, uh, and then I think I want to have a small closet here. Okay. 
it's super simple, but it kind of gets the job done here. Um, what about a small painting? Like this one here. Alright, um... I think we do that instead, and then... Yeah, that's better. Uh, and then I want to have a plant here, just like raise with um, let's see, yellow. It's super simple, but it gets the job done. Uh, we can squeeze in a small lamp in the ceiling here as well. Perfect. All right, guys, we managed to do everything here uh, in not too much of a long time. Um, thank you so much for watching guys. I really do hope that you enjoyed today's small interior episode If so make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman and I'm out